guys what's up this is Nanya from Digdaric Solutions and today I will be showing you how you can connect your Raspberry Pi to a wireless network with the help of Edimax Nano Adapter. So to do that you need to do certain settings in the LX terminal of your Raspbian operating system. So I am going to access my Raspberry Pi through SSH and I am doing this SSH via a Ethernet cable it is not connected on a wireless network. So let's proceed. Once you're in the LX terminal, our first step is to update and upgrade the packages. So let's type in sudo apt-get space update. And this should update all your packages. This can take up to 15 minutes. So just hang on. I'll be back once this is done. Next step is to upgrade the packages. So we'll type in sudo space apt-get space upgrade and this will again take at least 5 to 10 minutes so just hang on I'll be back once this is done now we need to check whether we have the latest firmware of Raspberry Pi installed so we will type in sudo apt-get space install Raspberry Pi bootloader You can see it says that Raspberry Pi bootloader is already the newest version. Now we need to install another package which is WPA supplicant. So we'll type in sudo apt-get space install WPA supplicant. And you can see it says that WPA supplicant is already the newest version. Next step is to edit the network interfaces file. So we'll type in sudo nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces. This will give you the information of your ethernet connections and wireless connections. So we need to modify this file. Just above allow dash hot plug wireless LAN 0, you need to type in auto wireless LAN 0 and you need to make your wireless LAN DHCP that is it is going to dynamically get the IP address from the router and the next step is remove the last two lines and press tab because this is very important without the tab it won't work and type in WPA-SSID now this is the name of your Wi-Fi network. Let's say my Wi-Fi network is called as Pi. So I will type it as Pi. Your Wi-Fi network can be XYZ or something else. So just type in your Wi-Fi name. And the next thing is the Wi-Fi password that is going to be PSK. So we will type in the Wi-Fi password. And once you have done that, press Ctrl X, press Y and press Enter. Once this is done, you need to restart your Raspberry Pi. To do that, you will type in sudo space shutdown dash r space now. And you can see it's going for a reboot. Now that the Raspberry Pi has rebooted, it has also connected to the Wi-Fi network. You can clearly see in my Wi-Fi router settings, I have got a new connection and that's from Raspberry Pi. It's connected at 192.168.2.11 and you guys might be thinking why is it connected to the same domain or the same subnet of my internet connection when I had connected it to Ethernet that's because I had connected my Raspberry Pi with the Ethernet through my router and that's why it was getting .2.95 which was in the same subnet so don't worry it is actually connected on the Wi-Fi network at the moment and that's the proof so if you just want to SSH I'll just give you a small demo of it and there we go the SSH is successful and this was done through the wireless network so now let's try connecting our Raspberry Pi to a hidden wireless network and let's see what changes we need to do so here we are, we want to connect to a hidden wireless network. 
For this we need to generate the PSK value of our hidden wireless network. For that we will use the passphrase utility and that can be easily done by using the command wp underscore passphrase and then type in your Wi-Fi SSID that is your hidden Wi-Fi network's name. You can use double quotes or single quotes. Many a times double quotes does not work so try single quotes. And for password I would suggest go for single quotes. Once you have done that you will get the PSK value which you need to copy and paste it in a text edit file or some text file. Next step is to edit the network interfaces file. So we will use the nano editor. Once you do that you need to add in a line that's auto wireless LAN 0 and right after that just delete the last three lines. Once you have deleted the unrequired contents of the network interfaces file, you need to paste the entire code which I have specified in the description of the video. And once you do that, you need to change the SSID to your SSID and also the PSK value to your Wi-Fi SSID's PSK value. And once you have done that, press Ctrl X, press Y and press Enter. And once that is done, we need to restart our Raspberry Pi and just make sure that you have connected the Wi-Fi adapter before restarting it. So let's just restart it. And now let's check whether it works or not. Let's try refreshing my client status on my router to check how many devices are connected to the Wi-Fi. And currently it's still not showing me the Raspberry Pi. And boom, there you go. It shows me the Raspberry Pi connected to the Wi-Fi network. And that's how simple it is. And all credits to the Palm Tree Initiative blog. This is the blog which actually provided the entire tutorial which I have used. So go ahead and try it out. That's it with this video guys. I hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.